Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnishi. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video we are covering CCNA semester 3, Scaling Networks. And this is chapter 9, iOS Images and Licensing. Section 9.2, iOS Licensing. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain the licensing process for the Cisco iOS software in a small to medium sized business network Configure a router to install a Cisco iOS image license. Licensing Overview The Cisco iOS software release 15.0 and above, each device ships with the same IP base universal image. Technology packages are enabled in universal image via Cisco software activation licensing keys. So all the licensing, all the devices, they come with a default license which is IP base and it gives you this. Now, if you want any of these technology packages, you need to enable them with the activation licensing keys. Use the show license feature command to view the technology packages, licenses and features lines licensing supported on the router. Licensing process. There are three steps to permanently activate a new software package or feature on the router. The first step is to purchase a package or feature from the Cisco website. So you go to the Cisco website and you choose the license, for example, example, security license, and then the Cisco will send you will send you a product activation key or pack key. Now, you use the pack key plus your UDI, which is unique device identifier, and you send it back to the Cisco to obtain the license. So each license is bounded to a unique device. So they can't share, one license can't share two devices. So you, you, you use a pack code or pack key, product activation key, plus unique device identifier, you send it back to the Cisco and then Cisco will send you the license. And then you can install the license on your device. So first step was to purchase the software package. You go to the Cisco website and you purchase the package that, or the features that you want to install, or the license, the security, unified communication or data. Then they provide product activation key, or pack key, and important information regarding the Cisco end user license agreement. The second step is to obtain the license. The second step is to obtain the license or license file using one of the following options. Cisco License Manager is a free software application available from Cisco. The Cisco License Manager can discover network devices with a license information and acquire the deploy licenses from Cisco. Cisco License Registration Portal is a web-based portal for obtaining and registering an individual software license available at Cisco. Both options require a product activation key, number and a unique device identifier or UDI. To find the product activation key, you're going to get it once you buy the license, once you buy the, the operating system. Now, the, the unique identifier key, you need to show, say show license UDI, so unique identifier UDI, or unique device identifier. Then if you say show license UDI, you will see there, that's your UDI. Then you obtain the license from the Cisco, so you send the the product activation key and unique device identifier to Cisco and then Cisco will send you the license. After obtaining the license file, which is in XML format, install the permanent license. Use the license install and then location of that file. On the privilege exec mode command to install the license. Then reload the router using the reload privilege exec command. A reload is not required if an evaluation license is active. So here we do, we go, we type license, install, and then where is the file saved? So we, we could copy it to flash, .xml. After we install the successfully license, then we reload the router for the router to take effect. To verify our license, we say show version. So on our version, at the end of the version, we'll, we'll see the license information. So, for example, this uh, router has got two licenses, two permanent licenses, IP base and security, but it doesn't have anything for unified communication or data. Use, or we can just say show license, which is going to give you a bit more information. For example, same as show version, but in more in depth about each license that you have. Now, Cisco allows you 60 days for evaluation of any technologies. So after the 60 days, the license automatically transitions into right-to-use license. 
to configure a one-time acceptance of EU LI, use the license accept end user agreement global configuration command. Now, anytime that you want to evaluate some license, you need to accept uh, user agreement. Then you need to activate, but this is only one time, yeah? So user agreement, you only accept it once and then you can evaluate other licenses as well and you don't need to type this command. To activate an eval evaluation RTU license, use the license boot module, module name, technology package, and then package name. Technology packages on Cisco iOS ISR G2 platforms, you have IP base, which is a, we don't need, need to evaluate this because it already comes with it. Security K9, security technology package, data K9, data technology package, and UCK, U, UC K9, unified communication package. So license, here is the commands to accept, uh, to enable evaluation. So accept the user agreement by saying global configuration command, license, accept end user agreement. And then license in the global configuration mode, license boot module, C1900 is a hardware, technology hyphen package, data K9. So now use write or copy running config to start a config to make the license boot config take effect on the next boot and then type reload. Backing up the license, the license save and then location where you want to save it, command is used to copy license from a device and store them in a format required by the specified storage location. Saved licenses are restored by using the license install. So license save, for example, we are saving a license to the flash. Show flash, we'll see the license they already saved there. To uninstall the license, first you need to disable the technology package and then we clear the license. So the commands you can see there first is license boot module C1900, technology hyphen package SIC K9, disable. And then second step is to clear the license. So license clear SIC K9, configure terminal, no license boot module C1900, technology hyphen package SIC K9, disable exit and then reload your router thank you very much for watching my video please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe this has been Asir Krasnici bye bye